What we're looking at here is repurchases of stocks that people have previous, previously owned, have sold, and you know, do they go buy, back and buy it again or not? We get two main findings. The first is that a person's much more likely to buy a stock again if they made money on it the first time. The other thing that we find is that when people buy a stock they, they made money on uh, the first time or the last time that, that they owned it, they're far more likely to buy that stock again if the, if the price has dropped since they sold it than if it's gone up. And here, you know, what, what my co-authors, Brad Barber and Michelle Strahalovitz and I think is going on, it has a lot to do with regret. Suppose you sell a stock for $100 and four or five months later it's trading at $120 and you buy it back you're going to regret that you sold it in the first place. You're going to say to yourself, well, if I really wanted to have a long-term investment in this stock, I wish I hadn't sold it. I would have been better off if I had just never sold it. On the other hand, suppose you sell a stock for $100, and four or five months later, it's trading at $80, and you buy it back. Now you feel good. You say, well, I timed that right. You know, I sold at $100, I bought back at $80, and I feel good about things. And we think that basically, Investors choose what they buy and what they sell to some extent to manage their own emotions. The investors are not in a very good position to forecast what's going to happen, to sort of predict which stocks will outperform which other stocks in the future, but they have a, a very good sense of which transactions are going to make them feel better about investing or feel less good. In this study, what we're looking at is trading records, actual trading records for investors. We've got two data sets. We're looking at the trading records for a little over 60,000 households at a large discount brokerage firm, and then trading records for about 670,000 investors at a large full-service retail brokerage firm. So we actually know what trades people made, and of course what we find is the investor is more likely to buy it back at a lower price than a higher price than it was sold. The investor is more likely to buy a stock again that was sold originally for a gain than for a loss. But we're, this isn't based on, on survey evidence, it's based on looking at the actual trading records of individual investors. Well, we find that this basic behavior of buying back previous winners that have gone down since you sold them clearly doesn't benefit people. In fact, there's at least mild evidence that they're worse off for doing that. As far as what most investors should be doing, most investors shouldn't be uh, picking stocks. They shouldn't be trying to beat the market and hold, you know, holding a small portfolio of individual stocks. Most investors should be buying well-diversified mutual funds with low fees. In general, if you're, if you're looking at generally good investment advice, people should be they should have long horizons. They should be thinking about retirement, not thinking about what's going to happen next week. In general, they should buy and hold. People who are active traders, on average, don't do as well as people as buy and hold investors. Investors should pay attention to the things over which they have control.